Hey, Ryan with Premier. So, I had somebody message me the other day on the channel, and they wanted to know how do I deal with cracks like this. Well, in this particular job, the customer didn't want to pay for the cracks. There's a lot of them. They had just last year paved this new section right here, and they just kind of wanted everything to look the same. They also did this hill, so um, they just had to seal the middle part here. Now, it looks like a dog dick, all right? But let's say they wanted to crack fill that. How do you go about crack filling that? You know, it's tough because I have like a zero crack fill, uh, like if I say to somebody I'm coming to fill the cracks in the yacht, I'm filling all the cracks in the yacht, you know? But when you get tight spots like this, like this right here, if you were to try to run rubber over all of those, and then let's say one of these trucks pulled in here and parked on top of it with a set of dualies, and let's say it's a hot day and stuff is soft, it rubber squishes up in his tires, and then as he pulls away, he pulls this whole section out, leaving a pothole. So that's why you got to be careful about running hot rubber on the edges of all of those. Now look, this is already toast, all right? If somebody's trying to get you to fix this and they're expecting like longevity out of it, you know, grab them by the back of the neck and fucking whack them. And <laughs> oh, be like, hey, what are, you, what are you talking about? All right, we're past that. We are past that, all right? The time for you to care was like, 20 years ago apparently and you did so that's what we're faced with so how do we prevent it from becoming a pothole well you know I mean something like this you know we would like to put mastic on it you know that's a mastic patch an old one but we would put mastic on it so how if you don't have a mastic machine do you go about fixing shit like this and it's simple. You crisscross applesauce. Yeah. Or you, 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 you shoelace it. So what we would do is we would take the hot rubber or your MA-10 and we would just make lines. And the lines essentially hold all the pieces in place. It's not going to stop the water from getting to the base, but it's also going to stop it from... It's going to help like hold the pieces together because every piece of this right here is dependent on the piece next to it to survive oh, oh thank you little roots please stay strong <laughs> and to have longevity so if that piece falls out all of those pieces are now compromised then that piece will fall out and then all of those pieces are compromised so the idea is just to try to we call it banding or shoe stringing you know we'll lay a pattern similar to you know shoelaces crisscross applesauce and that kind of just holds everything into play same thing with an ma10 ma10s are a little tougher because you don't have the maneuverability that you would have if you were using a wand um but at the same time, you can just run your MA-10 over it, do some squiggly lines. The, 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 uh, the idea is just to, to put something in place that would hold these lines, uh, hold these, these pieces of asphalt in place. Okay, so uh, whoever asked for that video, I hope you appreciate it. All right, and I need more topics, so suggestions, please. Yeah.